Hey there everybody in internet land. I uh, just thought I'd throw up the camera today to make a little video. I titled it, You Quit Doing What? And uh, I can assure you I didn't stop showering or eating or, well, shaving. It kind of seems like I might have stopped doing that. But uh, no, the, the real thing I wanted to talk about was that uh, about two and a half months ago, so uh, ten weeks, uh, I stopped drinking. I stopped drinking alcohol. I didn't stop drinking water or other things, but I stopped drinking alcohol. And that might be a little bit shocking to some people out there because uh, I, I think a few of you have known me as a pretty big party guy throughout the last, uh, oh, last probably eight, ten years of my life or so. Um, and that you kind of know me as a drinker and a partier and some of you smoked cigarettes at least when I was drinking. Um, but yeah, so ten weeks ago uh, I had my last drink and I had my last cigarette. And uh, it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Uh, both my wife, Tania, and I started reading a book uh, by Jack Canfield. Uh, he's the guy who did the Chicken Soup for the Soul books and he wrote it with a guy named Dave Andrews and the book is called The 30 Day Sobriety Solution and we had heard about it from a podcast uh, Lewis Howes The School of Greatness if anybody's familiar with that but we had seen an interview with Jack Canfield on Lewis Howes show and we were intrigued we, we probably saw it a few months ago so it was something that where the seed was planted in our in our minds and we were thinking about it um, because this is a decision to to read this book and and to decide for myself at least to stop drinking that hasn't come quickly um, some of you might know but uh, back in 2010 uh, I got a DUI when I lived in Arizona um, to those of you who didn't know that now you know uh, seven years ago that happened um, you know, even since then, that was a little bit of a wake-up call that maybe my drinking habits weren't what they should have been. But now, um, I'm I'm in a position where I realize nothing nothing additional bad happened. But but over the last seven years, I've continued to drink and and sometimes pretty heavily. Um, a, a lot of weeks, I would drink uh, on nights more often than I didn't. Um, on, on the biggest party nights I could probably put away most of a bottle of whiskey a small bottle not the big bottle but still that's that's a lot of booze so um, over the course of, of several years and, and especially the last few months it was something that was starting to weigh a little more heavily on my heart like can I accomplish the things in life that I want to accomplish if I'm drinking and if I'm drinking as heavily as I have been and to me the answer to that question once I really ask myself that question can I fulfill my dreams can I make it as far as I want to go in life uh, can I become a, a well-known musician with uh, along with my wife who are changing people's hearts and making a positive impact on the world through our music can I do that and continue drinking the way that I've been drinking? And the answer was emphatically no. There was no way that I could keep that going. Um, and luckily, through hearing about about this book and kind of making a decision that I'm not going to be able to show up in the world the way that I want to. I can't show up for love and equality in the world if I'm drunk most of the time. It doesn't work. Even if you're a nice drunk, it's just it's kind of counterintuitive like you can't show up and, and encourage people to love each other and, re and love themselves do you really love yourself if you're if you're treating your body that way for me the answer was no um, so anyway uh, uh, you know Tania remembered that we had seen the interview about that book and uh, we bought it we bought the ebook version on our iPads uh, we both started going through it um, <laughs> full f f full uh, transparency here I still have I think three chapters of the book to go you're supposed to do it <laughs> in 30 days 
and I've been really lax in terms of being consistent with it and that's something that I'm I'm working on but the the beautiful thing to me the thing that I'm most proud of and the thing that I think is having the biggest impact on my life right now is that I chose to stop drinking and even though I haven't been consistent with reading the book I have been consistent with not drinking um, so January 19th was the last time I had a drink um, so however long it's been since then uh, that's how long it's been um, I know that uh, this is not a thing for everybody some people can drink casually and have no problem with it. Some people drink heavily and continue to do that. Um, that was me for a long, long time, so absolutely no judgment for any of that. But I guess the purpose of me making this video is that I wanted to share my experience and be a little bit transparent about my journey in life and tell anybody who wanted to listen about something that has had a really huge impact for me. Now I wake up clear-headed. Uh, I'm not hungover. You know, now I'm 33 years old and hangovers were a bitch. <laughs> it's not like when I was, you know, 23. Not like 10 years ago. Uh, I feel like it would take me the better part of two days to get back to feeling normal. And especially when you combine that with cigarette smoking, it's just it's a bad combination. Um, so for me it was something where I realized uh, if I want to be who I think I'm supposed to be in this world not because of anybody else's expectations but my own expectations for how I want to show up for the kind of person I want to be and the way that I want to leave a mark and leave an impact on this world especially for the causes of love and equality and fairness and justice and things like that the way for me to do that is to be clear-headed uh, and to not deal with those two-day hangovers and to really um, show up with all of my faculties every day which enables me to be the best version of myself and that's ultimately what it comes down to how can I be the best version of myself for me uh, at least one of the first steps was I had to cut out alcohol. So far I love it. So, Anyway, that's just a piece of my story. Um, I hope to be making some of these videos more consistently. Maybe consistency is something I need to work on since I can't seem to finish that damn book. <laughs> but uh, I want to make more videos like this consistently and start to tell a little bit of my story. Start to tell, uh, uh, give some insight into the struggles that I've had in life and the ways that I've been able to overcome those. Uh, and I hope that hearing something uh, from my life and something that I've struggled with or maybe even still struggle with can help somebody else out there. So uh, with that, I'm going to sign off. But uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome day. See you next time.